in this problem, we are supposed to look at a graph and determine where the local maxima and minima of this function are. So th those may be some words you haven't heard before. A, a graph, you know, like this of, of a function, it might squiggle all around and goes up and it goes down. It looks like it shoots all the way up to infinity up here and all the way down to negative infinity down there. But in between, it has these what we call local extrema or local maxima and minima, places where it, for a local maximum, it it's, looks like the top of a hill. So it's all the values to the left are less, all the values to the right are less. What this means is in this little neighborhood, that's where the value of the function is at a maximum. So we can say this point right here is a local maximum. And the value of that point, the, uh, the, the location of that local max, it's the point 2, 1. Likewise, down here at the bottom of a hill, where all the values to the left go up, all the values to the right go up, this is a local minimum. So it's the lowest point in the neighborhood. And the point there is negative 1 negative 2. So if I was asked, um, you know, where this function has local a maxima and local minima, um, I could find them by just looking at the graph and then reading the points. This particular problem says, um, find the following, all values at which h has a local maximum. So the value they're talking about is the x that you put in. So the local maximum value here is 2. And then all local maximum values of h, the value of h at that local max is the y. So that's the value is 1. All right. So hopefully that uh, helps you out with local maxima and local minima.